we've been told that it's survival of the fittest and the accumulation of stuff is what's going to make you happy. So you're here to climb up that ladder of success and get to the top. And it's not about that. It's about can you manifest and create the life that you want that's in alignment with your soul, the true and authentic you. If you're not living your life in alignment with the deepest version of you, if you don't even know what that deepest version of you is all about, then you're busy creating a life or running after things that have nothing to do with who you truly are and what it is that you truly desire to create and experience. That's why we become frustrated and that's why we become overwhelmed and anxious and insecure and we're feeling this feeling of not being enough, not being fulfilled, having no meaning in our lives. You will never be happy if you're living your life from the outside in. You will never be happy. So if we're meant to live our lives from the inside out, then we have to go inside. We have to get inside. What holds you down is you, is your personal stories that you create, is your fears, your apprehensions, uh, your limited beliefs. The narrative that you will use to define your life will be the experience that you will have of life. That's huge. Once you understand that your life experience has everything to do with the story that you tell yourself, all of a sudden you take responsibility for the narrative that you hold. You have a blank canvas. What reality do you want to experience? The choice is yours. And when you get to tune in with the deepest version of you, the reality that you choose to experience is totally different than the reality that you choose to experience when you're being animated from your ego, from your fears and your insecurities. But what if you're able to silence all that noise and to live from that deeper space? from your personal blueprint or your personal roadmap to where your soul desires you to move towards. If you're able to quiet that mind and you're able to reconnect with that version of you, you also end up discovering this amazing thing that we're all connected. There's this deep feeling of and knowing that you are connected with everything and everyone around you. And when you manage to reconnect with that truth, when you remember that truth, what ends up happening is you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, it's not as much what I create, but is who I am as I'm creating what I'm creating. How am I impacting the lives of others? All of a sudden you move into this space of personal development, personal growth, personal evolution, but also contribution. What is it that I can outpour? What is it that I can create that's going to benefit others? Who can I become to have a wonderful impact, a positive impact on those that I love the most? That's contentment. That's happiness. That's lightness. That's an uplifted life. <laughs>